Hello, how are Did you? Each... <laughs> Fine. I am busy. Great. What did you do today, Aleli? Tiger. Mm -hmm. I am tiger. Oh, is they the very, very tiger? Oh, why, Aleli? What happened? I'm much work. Um, every day and the PC. What do you do, Aleli? What is your job? Um, business and um, underlined. Business underlined. Online. Business online. Do you sell yes. products? My business is awesome. I'm, I am busy. Um, yo vendo. I am I busy. Sell. Huh? I sell. I sell. Oh, pardon. I sell. Um, material. Um, Art, art, martial art. Ah, okay, martial arts. Very nice. Yes. A lot of people want to yes. do karate and taekwondo and judo, huh? Yes. Um, you, um, judo, um, kung fu, uh, box, boxing, kickboxing, um, artists, mars, martial mixtas. Mixed martial arts. Okay, okay, okay. What you uh -huh. understand? Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I understand. Remember, it's M M A. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. M M A. Exactly. It's, an, mm, it's okay. very recognizable. Yes, it's very famous now in many many yes. countries. Okay. In other the work. Mm hmm. Good. So, in this moment, just like Aleli and me, you're going to do with your partners. You're going to talk to your partners. What did you do today? What happened? Right? And just quickly, a few moments, just to catch up about your partner and their day. We are ready? Yes, oh, ready. Excellent. Hi, welcome. We will now study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go as we are sure this is going to be useful for you. Past models for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. You Seth, could have been more understanding. Me? I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or opinion. shouldn't have. Okay, Renata. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. Okay, so that's the idea for today, past models. We're going to take a look at that in just a second. Let me go back. Hi, well. Excellent. Okay.
Okay, so you got a chance to talk to your partners, use the past tense, describe the things. Yes? Okay. So, Noe, Noe, tell me about your partner. What did your partner do? Uh, tell me. With Delby. Okay. <laughs> tell me about David. And then me, I, uh, I question, actually, question to me about the, where do you live? And I swear, uh, I live in the city column. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, uh, she questioned about, uh, this my neighbor and no the... what did what did you learn about delmi noe what did the noemi tell you or okay. sorry the delmi tell you uh -huh. so, she uh, asked me uh, uh, asked me to me ah uh, you didn't ask her uh-huh uh -huh. because uh, time less Okay, no uh -huh. problem, no problem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Uh, Santiago, what about your partners? What did you discover about your partners? Uh, my partner, Marvin and Aleli. Aleli tell me uh, she, she, she would like to go to Chile mm -hmm. because for the culture and food and many things. That's it, teacher, because the time is over. <laughs> very fast. Oh, okay, very fast. All right, good. So that's the, the idea today. We're going to be looking at using, we're going to be using the perfect tenses for the models. Now here, it's important the past tense. Why? For example, what did you do today? I went to church. I went to work. I went to the store. I saw, I bought. This is the past tense. What you did today, not the future in the past, today, yesterday, last year, okay? Now, when we're going to look at today's grammar is past models for opinions and advice. This means what you would change in the past. We're going to watch a small video to see how we need it and how we can use it, okay? Here we have. Welcome. We will now study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go, as we are sure, this is going to be useful for you. Past modals for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. Okay, so here's the important part. When we're talking about these, this is important about imagining what we do different in the past. That's why the topic for the conversation is what did you do today? 
I went to work, I ate lunch. Okay. Now, did you like the lunch? I know I didn't like my food. Um, I should have bought food from home. I should haven't, or I shouldn't have gone out with my friends. This is the idea. Okay. So always when we use this grammar, it's like imagine the regrets or the things that we have in the past tense. It's okay, the idea for the, the grammar or is not clear? Yeah. Yes? The others, yes? No? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. So we're gonna try a little bit. Um, we're gonna try a little bit of the grammar before we go with the speaking. So remember, always we're gonna talk about using the word have. How do we have it? I would have, I could have, I might have. In today's exercises, we're gonna first have the option to choose. It's going to be multiple choice. Let me share with you so that we understand what are the things that I am talking about. So the first things that we have today is we're going to have exercises where we use multiple choice. You only have to go with your partners and select which is the best word, which is the correct word for that sentence. Those are exercise one and two, multiple choice. Then when you are confident and clear with your partners in exercise three, you have to write your answer, okay? So exercise one and two is to help you practice and for you to learn the grammar. This is why it's multiple choice. But in exercise three is not multiple choice. And in exercise three, you have to write your own answers. Yes? yes okay. Good. Let me share with you in case you want to see one more time what we are talking about. This is called the third conditional in grammar. This is because it's impossible. Why it's impossible to complete? Because it's in the past. So always you're going to use the past perfect with the if, and then we're going to use the model and would have. Here we have some examples. Luis, can you please read the three examples that we have? Uh, examples, if I had a student, I would have passed the exams. If I had a student, I could have passed the exams. If I had a student, I need have passed, pa passed the exam. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Now, today we're gonna be focusing on the one with wood. We're going to be focusing on this wood, but I want you to understand that you can use other models. Not only is necessary. What is necessary is the grammar. This grammar is obligation. Always with the if we're going to use had, had, and we're going to use the verb in the past participle. Always with the model, we're going to use have. What is the difference? One is had and one is have. How do you know? If you use if, it's had. Remember, with these types of sentences, you can change. You can have at the beginning, if I had studied, I would have passed the exams. Or you can have, I would have passed the exams if I had studied. These are the same meaning. You can change and it does not affect the meaning. Is that okay? It's okay, teacher. It's okay? All yeah, right, yeah, yeah. great. In that case, then I will send you the three links for you to practice with your partners. We're gonna practice number, remember, one, two, and three. Number one is going to be for multiple choice, link number one that we have in the chat in this moment. Uh, Please remember to open before you go to the groups because in the groups it disappears. That is link number one. Then we have link number two. 
And the last one is you have to write your answer. And you should be able to because you already practiced number one and two. Okay. So please open the three links and make sure that you understand. Okay, does everybody have the three links? Yes, teacher. Yes? In my case, yes. Okay. Okay. If not, then you share with your partners, but let's go. Luis, are you having some problems with Delmi? We don't listen, Luis. No. Luis, I can't hear you. Maybe you have some internet problems. Let me send you to another group. Luis? Had both. Mm -hmm. Number three? Had both. Had both. Had both. A hat, yes. A hat so, in the shop. If the if the shops who have been open, have been open. I agree. Is my dad? No, no. Is who? Who have? Who have? Who have been? If my dad. Had had time. Oh, had time. No, no, who we'll have no. had time? Who? We'll, we'll have Debería. had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Debería. He had had time with me. Mm -hmm. Had he, played. He? Had played. Mm had -hmm. played with me. Had played. Mm -hmm. Number five, did you defer? Who have watched the film? Who have watched the film? You, you, um, we are. So your turn, Santiago. Okay.
Mm -hmm. and then this out. One. Check this out. Okay, yeah? Yeah. Your tall Caesar. Okay. Toys. If if my dad had had time, he would have that. He would have to have. Oh, uh, would have Has played. He? Yes. That's okay. He would have played with me. That's right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you will have jaw it. Check this out. Mm, it's okay. So the last to... one. So I will have trouble. Perfect. Eh, el anterior te salió bien. Eh, no lo he hecho, pete solo uno. Ese que acabamos de hacer nada. Ese que vamos a hacer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, check, check conditional two. Well, here we see two conditional, conditional type three. The XSR, the third conditional number one. Tell me if you, if you had yeah. asked, ask me, me, I will, I will have told you told the truth. Well, Num number two. Yeah, we, we will we have, have got, got last if we hadn't had 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 a map. Mm -hmm. Hadn't had had a map. If you, if you had had a song, song would, would you, you have, have called him? Share with us, how do you react when someone forgets your birthday? Learn the following nouns for discussing reactions. An assumption, a criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, a warning. So do you jump to conclusions? What happens when he or she doesn't answer your call? Type your assumption, we won't tell them. Mm. What do you think, we, Raquel? We 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 will have got lost if we if we had. Mm -hmm. And then had a map. Mm -hmm. If we hadn't. Number three. If, if you. you if you will, if you had, I'd had a son. Yes. Uh -huh. Would you have called him Sam? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If the shops um ha would have been open. Mm -hmm. have no, been. had 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 been open. Mm -hmm. Had been open. They would have uh, bought something. Mm -hmm. If Anne had no hat, she will have. A la, a, a la parte de arriba tiene apóstrofe. Um, teacher, I have the one problem. I know contraction. Um, sí. in... Copiar. Copy. Uh -huh. The world. World. I don't. I don't. Don't be the contraction. Yeah. 
El teacher me envió ahí algo. Ok. Y en la tecla... Es que no tiene la posta, el teacher, por eso no salió mal esa. Uh -huh. yes. Copy from Copy. the chat. Copy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Veamos. I see. No, 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 no. Ese no, ese no es. Es el chat? otro. Este, el four, bueno. Number four. Ajá. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Y aquí, have not. Es have. Vamos a copiar la uh -huh. cosita. Este. Ok. Hey, hey, you see, everything has a solution. Ok. Ok. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. No, no, no lo aceptó. Uh -huh, no, no, no lo aceptó. No lo aceptó. But bueno, we like... know it's true. It's correct. No, number four is not correct. Me alegra. Not correct. Pero no correct. Not, not correct. correct. What, teacher? Is mm -hmm. what, what it's have? It's wrong. It's wrong. Okay. okay. Number four is not correct. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's will help. We don't have. Bull. Wouldn't have. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yes. Uh, <laughs> you see? It, that That is the uh, one, yes. Wouldn't, if they hadn't, you can check. Let's see. Yes. My parents wouldn't have died if they had, if they hadn't eaten the mushrooms. That is correct. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. And the mushrooms. I think, but it uh, is for the... For the... Con now it's for the contraction. Yes. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but don't Don't worry. cry. Don't cry, Elvis. Don't cry, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> exactly. Justo a tiempo. There you go. Very good. Very good job. Yeah. <laughs> okay. oh. mm -hmm. Have not... Okay, now do you feel more confident? Do you feel better? Do you understand the grammar? Yes. Yeah. Good. Good. Remember, the most important from the grammar is always wouldn't or would have and always with if had. Had. This is the difference. If had and the other is would or wouldn't have. Okay, so let's take a look at 3.7 so that we can come up right here. Uh, Eneida, can you please read the instructions? Sure, let me see the instructions. Yes, please. Let me see, I'm sorry because I can, but... Oh, uh, you are on the phone. Okay. Okay, complete the conversations using past modal with the verbs given. You may use could have, would have, should have, or it's negatives. Um, do, do not need to type everything, only the past modals with the verbs in its correct form. Okay. So not complete sentence, only use the form, the correct. We're going to use could have, would have, should have, or the different. Remember, these are all of the different models. Here we have a small conversation. Number one is A and B. Number two, A and B. The same for number three and four. Now, like the third exercise that we practice, now is writing. Now you have to use the correct way. Remember, would have is the decision. Could have is possibility. And should have is recommendation. Would have, decision. Could have, possibility. Should have, recommendation. 
Okay. So now with our partners, four exercises, 3.7. Are we ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, excellent. Let's go with our partners. Only the answer, not the entire sentence. Hi, welcome. We will now study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go as we are sure this is going to be useful for you. Past models for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. Okay, Luis. I see you're having some problems with your groups, huh? Yes, I have problem with my internet connections. Okay, well, don't worry. Maybe we try later after the storm, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, good. Every uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. The dog should be. have told. Told. Should I it, is should it have, told, been have lent. Lent. The second is okay. Very good. No. Hey, great job. I saw that everybody finished. Everybody had a chance. Most Yes, finish. Yeah. Most group had them correct. But let's check. I saw one or two answers that were not correct for some groups. So in the first one is, sorry, well, he could have dressed, right? He could have dressed neatly. Mm, letter B. I would have asked him to wear something nicer. Number three, he should have told you. Well, I wouldn't have lent it to him in the first place. Number three, she shouldn't have stayed so late. You should have started yawning. Four, I wouldn't have paid for him. He shouldn't have invited you if he was short of money. Mm -hmm. Can you show the, the first one? Of course. The, the, or the second one. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay. 
Great. Anybody else? Any questions or why or any of the words? Teacher, I have a question in the third part. Letter uh, abajo. Okay. Uh, I, okay. Este, letter B, you start joining, maybe the shoe had gotten the hand. The answer, shoe had started joining. It's, it's com started join, joining, joining. It's so, complete. So for Why? you, do you want to know what is joining? Mm -hmm. Por, ¿Por qué se le agrega joining en este caso? Si en demás solo utilizamos la, la fórmula del de, de should, had, plus, eh, particip, el verbo en participio. Es, es started. Started is the past participle. Ajá, the past participle. Ajá. Pero aquí le agregamos joining. No, no, ya está. Yes. Right here. That's for mistake. Because, it's already, it's because already you... here. Joining is already here. Only you have to write it here. No. So what is the meaning of the joining? Joining. Not joining. Joining is when you are tired. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So that's why always you should have started and then the verb past participle. Remember, always is have and the verb past participle. And then we have another verb. And the other verb is yawning. But but in this case it's not a a, pl a platform mistake because just in, in the the last one you you are writing should have started for example just the the in not the another verb or or the complement of the sentence right okay so here the you are the you have to write Johnny but it's already part of the sentence yeah. So, Joining is always necessary, but in the other part, they didn't put joining because it's not another verb. So here, no, only one verb. Here, only one verb. Here, only one verb, right? Um, but, I just, uh, no. Here they put two times because is this is necessary for it to be a complete sentence, but yeah, I understand. It's, only, it's only for the platform mm -hmm, because here is already included. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Remember, one of the grammar rules is always after the word start or finish, or you are going to use ing. So I start cooking, dancing, playing. I finish cooking, playing, always with the word start or finish. If we have an activity, is with ing. It's okay? Uh, it's clear now. All right, great. So now we're gonna go on to discussing a couple new things. We're gonna learn some nouns or new vocabulary. And this one is a little bit of vocabulary, only a few words, but it's important to have them for the next activity. Share with us, how do you react when someone forgets your birthday? Learn the following nouns for discussing reactions. An assumption, a criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, a warning. So do you jump to conclusions? What happens when he or she doesn't answer your call? Type your assumption, we won't tell them. Okay, let's take a look here. These are all words for assumptions. What do you think happens? So, or different ways. So when someone doesn't answer your call, what do you imagine? What happens when your boyfriend, girlfriend, mother, father don't come home on time? What do you think? Oui. Do you think something happened to them? Do you think they're having a party without you? Do you think, ah, this is the idea for the reaction. Which of these is an assumption? Which of these is a criticism? which one is a demand, an excuse, etc. For that, that's what we're going to start off with. But first, let's check the vocabulary. Do you know what is an assumption? 
I don't have idea. Assumption. Assumption is something that you believe without information. Okay. <gasps> Oi, my, uh, he, my friend is going with another woman to, to the movies or to eat. Oh, I think they are dating. This is an assumption. I don't have proof, but I assume. It's my okay. I forgot my birthday because she doesn't love me. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. That's like an assumption. Good. Aleli, you have a question? Oh, no. Oh, the answer for the example, uh, um, assumption is letter F. You must um, help one to break up with me. Okay, good. Right now, we're only going to take a look first at the vocabulary to make sure that it's clear all of them. Uh, okay. but thank you. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at criticism. It's okay, the meaning of criticism? Um, is when you are, I don't know, but but watching a, a a characteristic or something in another person, like she looks uh, ugly with that dress or something like that. Correct. That is a criticism. Exactly. What about a demand? It's okay. What is a demand? A demand is similar like a request, but it's something that you, when you are angry, you do. For example, when you go to a restaurant and you are, I know, I want my food now. This is a demand. When you go to Siman, La Curaçao, and you are not happy, oh, I want my money, return my money. This is a demand. It's okay, demand? Yes. It's like a refund. It's like a refund. No, demand is what you want, not necessary with money. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you don't get options. Correct. No options. Is you are going to do this and that's it. Mm -hmm. Good. An excuse. It's okay. Yes. Cool. Okay. A prediction. Okay, a suggestion? Yes. An opinion. Correct, a suggestion is like an opinion. Mm -hmm. The recommendation. Mm -hmm. What about a suspicion? A suspicion is similar to an assumption. A suspicion is you don't have but information or you don't have proof, but you start to think, oh, maybe this happened or maybe this, this is a suspicion. Okay. And a warning? Not a Correct. Exactly. When you try to tell the person information to protect them, this is a warning. Good. Now, with all of these vocabularies, now that we have them, we're going to do the exercise of the vocabulary. Here we have the sentences and we have all of the ideas for the vocabulary. So you need to match. What are these? What is it that they're describing? Okay, as you can see, we have eight sentences and with your partner, you're going to choose the word that matches what the action is. Is that sentence a prediction? an assumption, a warning, an excuse, etc. Okay. Yes? Okay. Yeah, All yeah. right. Okay. Let's go.
Marvin, any questions? Hmm. Let me try sharing one more time. Much better. Okay. So remember, today we learned past models and vocabulary. Hi, welcome. We will now study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go as we are sure this is going to be useful for you. Past modals for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not, plus have, plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. A warning. Share with us how do you react when someone forgets your birthday. Learn the following nouns for discussing reactions. An assumption, a criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, a warning. So, do you jump to conclusions? What happens when he or she doesn't answer your call? Type your assumption, we won't tell them. Okay. Now that we have it, the vocabulary exercises, let's check with the other groups. This day and tomorrow. I don't watch the news. Uh -huh. Today and tomorrow. Yes, today and tomorrow. Very hard or or not? Uh, tomorrow, uh, please, it is possible very hard. In this moment, uh, a little, a few. 
Mm -hmm. okay. okay, did you finish? Are we ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 All right. Good. Then let's go back. Okay. All right, number one. Let's start off and check. Marvin? Okay, teacher. Number one, if if you do it again, you will have to find a new girlfriend. Uh, the final sentence, uh, warning. Okay, good. Luis, number two. So number two, I bet you were out with another woman. Is a... Uh, Suspicions. Okay, good. Number three, Raquel. You can be so inconsiderate. It's a criticism. Okay, good. Number four, Noe. Your microphone. Hi, teacher. Um, to put forward, forget um, anniversary to a prediction. Prediction, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Number five, uh, Jefferson. Number five. Uh, now you have to take me out to dinner twice. It's a demand. Okay. Number six, uh, Santiago. Number six, teacher. Yes. You must have want to break break up with me. The, the answer is the number one. And absorption. Okay, good. Number seven, Morena. Morena, your microphone. No microphone. You can't speak. Okay. No problem, Morena. Thank you. Aleli, number seven. Okay. Aleli have problem with the microphone too. All right. Cesar, number seven. Mm, okay. You know. Hello. Hello, okay. Lily. Uh, okay. Okay. You, All right. And Lily changed the opinion. So, question. <laughs> Lily? Lily? I'm probably with. She told suggestion. Uh, Suggestion. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Good. Suggestion. No problem. Thank you very much. Cesar, number eight. Hey, it's okay. You must feel really sorry. An excuse. An yes. excuse. Okay. Very nice. As we can see, we have many different options, but all of those are correct. Number eight, an excuse. Number seven, a suggestion. Number six, an assumption. Number five, a demand. Four, a prediction. Number three, criticism. Number two, suspicion. And number one, a warning. It's okay? It's okay, teacher. Okay, great. So now we understand a little bit more about the vocabulary and the topic. We are almost finished with the unit, which is excellent. Because remember, tomorrow we are going to have the final test. But before we have the final test, we have a little bit of reading and then the final, okay? Here, we're gonna have the idea of plagiarism. Today, we don't have time to read the article, but we do have time to discuss plagiarism and your opinion of it. 
first, let's make sure that we see the vocabulary. We can see the word here. Okay, I'll make it bigger. Ooh, super big, right? <laughs> like super zoom. There you go. Plagiarism. So for you, what is plagiarism? Okay, let's see if we understand. What is plagiarism? And it's okay or not okay for you? I disagree with the plagiarism because you are taking the ideas of another person. Okay, so Cesar says it's not correct to take the ideas. Mm -hmm. And the others, what do you think? With half credits, okay. <laughs> and you are taking the idea without credits, but if you have the credits necessary, for me, it's okay. Okay, no problem. So if you give credits, he says it's okay. What do you guys think? Let's first discuss what is plagiarism in case you are confused. Plagiarism is the idea of copying, but not copying physically. For example, Raquel designs things that, if I remember correctly, Raquel designs gloves and scarves. I don't remember, but this is Raquel. I don't remember. Sorry, Raquel. I don't remember all of the things you design. But imagine I see, I see Raquel's design and I copy it. I copy the design. The same color, the same things is correct or not correct. This is the it's question. bad. It's incorrect because uh, someone stole your idea about something, and you lose your time, you lose your work, you lose your. Mm, I don't know. So it's it's bad to me, and the it's studied too, because you stole all ideas about some people. Okay, very interesting, very interesting. Why it's interesting? Tomorrow we're going to discuss because we have social media. And if you see social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, the different things, the TikTok is the same video, the <laughs> same dance, the same challenge. Is not plagiarism? Is not the same? Yes, it but is. The, yes, it but the people yes. accept it. I have a question. It's okay. Yes. What is the question? Uh, if you make one thing and the re um, it's very good, why I not copy it to you? Ooh, so, Raquel, this is a question. If very good. Raquel, if you make something very good, why is it not correct that I copy? Uh, this is Luis's question. I, I, I'm sorry. It's my. It's only a question. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Exactly, exactly. Only a question. Only. Fine, 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 fine. 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 Hi. There you go, Santiago. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. Only the question. I only, I only think because is the is a good action, we we copy the action. Okay. Depends. Uh, I, you I, you can be told because um if. It helps everybody in the world. I think it's good. For example, Tesla wants to be at the the energy in free for all, and that's good because um, it's necessary for all. But now the reality is the is a commercial, so it, it depends. I think it depends about your health, about um, awards, for example. Um, I don't know. It depends, I think. But uh, the ideas, I think, is a stall. Because some, Im do you imagine if uh, some people wants to uh, reproduction the, 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 una obra de arte, por ejemplo. Okay. How yeah. you can do it? How? If it's the imaginary of each person, only one person, and for me. But you could copy okay. the method in, in order to get an, a good art. So I think if you are using a method, or so, in my experience, uh, I'm the opinion that, uh, for example, if you had a good idea, is uh, necessary to copy because for example in my career we have good methods and so 
if you are the you are using the correct quote to that a uh, paper or something like that you are able to use uh, so uh, you, you could use the idea the method and notice like uh, you are not stolen that well tomorrow we are going to discuss and read remember <laughs> Only opinions, only opinions. Relax. <laughs> Tomorrow we continue and discuss. Okay. We need a okay. debate, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Take it easy. All right. Take it easy. Thank you, guys. Come Come on, guys. Go on, on, guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.